Hi. Hi. So a couple days ago, I made a video about Matt Damon's latest venture, cryptocurrency. <laughs> he starred in this super high budget fancy ad that's extremely dorky and it's been just plastered all over YouTube. Um, go ahead and watch my first video if you haven't yet. It's pretty fun and silly in my opinion. However, after I uploaded that video, I did a little research and I found something concerning. At the end of that video, I basically asked you guys if you think crypto is legitimate or not, or if it's just super cringe. And I also asked if you think that they paid Matt Damon in crypto bucks or in US dollars. Well, I decided to try to find that out. How did they pay Matt Damon for doing this commercial? And I googled it and the first result was this Yahoo News headline, Matt Damon knew Crypto.com poster boy after $1 million donation to water.org. Now just to be clear, I have no idea if this donation was made in crypto or in US dollars. I don't care anymore because all I care about is what the fuck is water.org? Because given the context clues, it's starting to look like some type of celebrity charity for water that is now tied in with crypto. Now there are three types of people watching this video right now. One, people who love crypto and think that this is great news. Two, people who are crypto skeptical but think that whole water charity thing sounds pretty nice. And three, people whose eyeballs are bleeding right now at the mere thought of using crypto and celebrity culture to privatize water and then sell it back to us as if it's charitable. Those person's name? My subscribers. Shout out to my sweeties. Sorry about all the eyeball blood, but you're gonna wanna grab a roll of paper towels cause it's gonna get way worse. Now, I already did all this research, but I kind of want you to be able to learn about this the same way that I did, so I'm gonna kind of reenact how it went down. First, I read the Yahoo article with such amazing lines as, the expensive advert will be a class A production. It has been directed by Oscar winning Wally Pfister. <laughs> director of The Prestige, alongside esteemed producer David Fincher, the Fight Club cinematographer. Wait, you're telling me that commercial was a Fister Fincher? I hardly know her. The CEO of Cryptocom said, we're very excited to introduce our company to a global audience, inviting them to our secure platform with a message focused on financial independence and self-determination. Now, more than ever, the cryptocurrency CEO wants you to know that you can buy cryptocurrency. What's that? The message about crypto is centered around financial independence and self-determination? That's awesome. I love this. I love this messages. So then in the portion about Matt's water thingy, it says delivering clean, safe water and sanitation is the primary mission of water.org, a global nonprofit organization that was co-founded with the help of Matt Damon. So yeah, Matt Damon was the co-founder of the NGO. I feel like I'm saying Matt Damon a lot. Matt Damon. Preceding the advertisement deal, Cryptocom donated $1 million directly to the charity as part of an effort to engage the user base with philanthropic goals. What is this language? Please do not engage the user base. It only encourages them, okay? Then Matt is quoted saying, It's Boston accent time, baby. Much like what we're doing with water.org, crypto.com is a cryptocurrency platform that shares my commitment to empowering people around the globe with the tools needed to take control of the futures, said Matt Damon. So I clicked the link to water.org and wow, so much eyeball blood. I was expecting something like, our celebrity charity uses money from donors to install clean water systems in rural communities around the world, or something like that. You know, something that is arguably helpful and positive, even if it's just an elaborate way to dodge taxes. At least, you know, someone is benefiting, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so we click water.org and here's the first thing you see. Safe water protects and saves lives. So true, yes. Then, it says, water.org has empowered more than 38 million people with access to safe water or sanitation. Through affordable financing. Now, more than ever, we invite you to take out a loan for water. How is this charity? Look, I'm biased because I don't even like the fundamental idea of nonprofits, but come on, this is like some water world level dystopian shit right here. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that my very first video essay ever was about how I don't like nonprofits. Now you can go watch that video if you want, but 
I recently rewatched it and oh my God, I was even worse at editing back then. Like every jump cut is so bad. <laughs> the point of that video and this one is, you know, maybe instead of starting a nonprofit about it, we could look at why water is so scarce and expensive in so many countries and, you know, why drinking water can poison people and what sorts of activities are contributing to that water pollution and stuff. You know, anybody, please? No? Okay. Uh, so it looks like Matt Wahlberg is our only chance at hydration. So let's see what his organization is doing to help. Water credit, small loans, big impact. The water credit initiative, trademark, is our core solution. Okay, so their trademarked water credits are their main thing. Like that is their core mission right there, right? We work with our in-country financial partners to add loans for water and sanitation solutions to their portfolios. I'm sorry, you do what? You are helping partners add water to their portfolios? Pardon me, but that seems kind of fucked up. These partners then mobilize funding from capital markets to provide affordable loans to people in need of water. This is so weird. Why is it worded like this? Am I, am I buying a bank? I would just like some water, please. Okay, so let me get this straight. You are receiving millions and millions of dollars in donations here at water.org plus a lot of grant money. Then you use that money and generously loan it to people in need so they can have water, arguably one of the most basic human needs. Then they pay back the loan with interest. So explain to me which part of that is charitable. Is it the, the part where they completely pay you back or is it the part where you make money off of the loan? I'm just really not understanding charitable water financing. Okay, so this part, boggles my mind. Every repaid loan creates the opportunity for another family to get the safe water and toilets they need, fast and affordably. It is a pay it forward system that makes it possible to help more people in ways that will last. Right, so here's how it works. So you've got a guy and he needs water, he's very thirsty. Now we're gonna loan him money so that he can buy his family some water solutions. Now when he pays it off, he pays off that loan, we, we get our initial capital, our initial investment back, but he also pays interest, which means now we have enough to loan two different people money, right? See, from here, we're gonna now have enough for four loans. You see this pattern, every time someone pays off their loan, that means we can kind of wrangle someone else in here to keep expanding this, and it kind of just keeps keeps going down forever in this, this sort of shape here. This is a pretty solid grift if you ask me. I mean, Matt Damon clearly crunched the numbers and figured out that within 30 levels of this pyramid, he will have provided loans for water to the entire population of planet Earth. I guess someone was paying attention in Algebra 2. Matt Damon? More like Math Demon. Okay, remember that other video I did about the weird boss babe witch who was like selling water filtrations in a pyramid scheme. This is a completely different pyramid scheme based around water. Just mind blowing stuff. Okay, so then on the site, there are a few more lines I really loved, such as, for millions of people, financing makes sense. Why? Why is that? Is it because they're poor? Small, affordable loans offer families the ability to purchase long-term safe water and sanitation solutions that solve their immediate need and over time will cost less than continuing to pay for temporary fixes. Over time it'll cost you less. Another part of that page mentioned that these people are often price gouged for water and they spend most of their income, which is like less than $3 a day in a lot of cases, on water. So by providing these loans, they are helping them lower their overall lifetime water costs, uh, which is like their justification for doing this and calling it charity, I guess. Okay, so I know that I'm going to have some people arguing in the comments that Matt is doing a really good thing, and I'm sure he's not the first person to take charitable donations and invest them into some kind of financing scheme. Far from it. So if you're the person typing that comment right now about how Matt's actually the good guy here, explain to me how this is different than a bank how it's different than a private business. He could have just started a business that creates water loans and solutions for people around the world. Or he could have done a charity that just gives away the money. Why does it have to be a charity that takes advantage of the desperation of people and earns all of its money back and then some? It even says right here that every dollar donated to water.org helps 
unlock $13. Is that, is that even possible? Like, imagine applying that logic to anything else. Hey guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button and comment down below. And remember, one like equals 13 likes. That really definitely seems legit, for sure. But that's the problem. It is, it is legitimate. Within our system, this is all perfectly legal. I looked on their financials page and it says that they have provided $3.1 billion in loans so far. That's a lot. So then I found something really weird. This little blurb says, universal access to basic water and sanitation. Note, they're not saying universal water and sanitation. They're saying access to it, just like access to affordable healthcare. You don't get healthcare, you get access to it universally. I love the marketplace. Universal access to basic water and sanitation would result in $18.5 billion in economic benefits each year from avoided deaths alone. Huh? I stared at that for a minute and I was like, wait, what do you mean? Like, are you saying that if people didn't die from lack of water, it would net us $8 billion? And then I read on and found this paragraph that says, Access to safe water and sanitation at home turns time spent into time saved, giving families more time to pursue education and work opportunities that will help them break the cycle of poverty. Are you literally saying that if people stopped dying from dehydration, that they could be at work by now? Dying of dehydration? Sounds like someone doesn't have the grind set. Look, Matt Damon, I know you're trying to be a better man. You even promised to stop saying the F slur in public. But this ain't it, my man. This, at best, is like a pyramid scheme presented as a water charity. Now you're involving crypto and... I think we can all agree that Matt Damon is just a weird little man. Oh, also, huge shout out to Jesse Plemons, okay? I am genuinely sorry about all those times I referred to you as Fat Matt Damon. You're the real hero here. If anything, I'm gonna start calling Matt Skinny Jesse Plemons because he is less of a man in all regards. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it's that our prestige TV king deserves better. Okay, so this video is getting way too long, but I just wanna take a look at water.org's generous donors real quick. We all know that Crypto.com is their latest big donor, but let's see who else supports them. Wow, Ikea. You know, I've always wondered if using 1% of the world's lumber supply um, uses a lot of water. Ooh, Bank of America, very cool. Glad someone reputable is taking care of all these small loans. Oh good, PepsiCo is involved, the company helping to privatize water, a natural resource that belongs to nobody, and creating more plastic than any fucking buddy else. I'm so glad they're here to help with the water crisis. Shout out to these big sponsors. I love this for the developing nations of the world, to have support from such wonderful companies, you know? Plus, I bet when you arrive on Mars, you're gonna really wish you knew a guy who could loan you some water. Anyways, crypto sucks, NFTs suck, um, random mayors getting paid in Bitcoin fucking sucks, and I will probably talk about this topic a little bit more if you guys want me to. I was thinking about doing a video where I try to figure out what Web3 is using only context clues. Well, that's enough eyeball blood for one afternoon. Money isn't real, crypto isn't real, and charitable water financing is not real. Hope you enjoyed this video and literally nothing else in the world. Bye-bye.